When she was younger, she would lay in the grass and stare at the clouds. And there she saw them, elusive, shifting faces. After a while, she could see the faces everywhere, in the trees, the mountains, caves. I do. Once you can see into the underworld, the underworld and all the souls within it will see you. Don't be afraid when they speak to you. I will always be here to guide you. Did you see her? That was her mother, Galina. She was a priestess, a healer. She taught Senua to see the weave that binds the world together. And it was beautiful. It was a time before the darkness. But when it did come, it first came for her mother. Senua still sees her face from time to time, hidden in the world. Like she's still watching over. She misses her so much.
Won't it open? There's another challenge. There's another challenge. She has it challenge. Cert. Cert. Challenge cert. <gasps> sort. The fire giant has answered. He comes from a land older than mankind. And the Northmen call upon his flaming sword to raise their enemies to the ground. Find him, Senua. And spill his blood. She found the wretched old fool on her way back from the wilds. Now gone. Madly burnt all over. She took pity on him, for he was not long for this world. Like her, who spoke of his own darkness. The Northmen. Because it was in the south, it was bright and hot, flaming, burning. Sparks that flew out from Muspel became the stars. Other sparks melted ice in the frozen world of Niflheim, creating the body of the first giant, Ymir. Muspel is one of the nine worlds and is now the land of the fire giants. And people from elsewhere cannot endure a journey there. Senua, we each walk these lands gazing towards different horizons, some of us further than others. Your father cannot see what you see, but there is nothing wrong with seeing the world the way you do. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. 
Jet lag. End it now. No. Nearly the end. <laughs> you finished it. human flesh <laughs> and I still hear their cries carried in the wind you hear them too Senos yes I heard their screams and I still hear them now The hell hand is sealed to the living, but you already walk amongst the dead. Look towards the gate, and you will see that it has opened. of their tongue to beg for mercy, and they took me as a slave. I wish now that they had slaughtered me like the others. I rode their storm of fire, death, and slavery to many lives. This darkness you speak of? <laughs> I know it well. And I'm still here to fight it.
Northmen say that the defender of Muspel is called Surt, the foremost of the fire giants. His name means the Black One, because he is like something burnt. The Northmen believe that he sits at the border of Muspel with his flaming sword, and at the end of the world he will leave his post. He will travel to Asgard and Midgard, waging war against all the gods. He will be victorious, and then burn the whole world with fire. she find the way back. <laughs> she won't. She won't be able to tell. The Northmen believe that the world will be destroyed someday. They call it Ragnarok, the destiny of the gods. Asgard will be attacked by Surt and the fire giants. A monstrous wolf will swallow the sun, and the gods will fight in vain against their enemies. There is nothing they can do to prevent it. But Odin ever seeks knowledge and magic, hoping, hoping to find a way to postpone that dark day. Northmen made fire sacrifices, burning slaves like me to reveal the path to Surt. 
I searched for meaning in their suffering, in their eyes. But they just screamed like helpless pigs. for mercy, all of them, even theirs. None answered. In the end, I set myself free. Defy the gods, Senua! Find your own path, like I find mine! My gods abandoned me! I am alone. The Northmen say that at Ragnarok, the sons of Muspel will travel to battle in the ship called Nagalfar, the corpse ship. And when the sons of Muspel leave the ship and ride to battle, it will be as though the sky had split open, and Surt will lead them. Wherever he goes, flame will erupt before him, and fires will burn behind him. insatiable gods of darkness. I come from Eren, Senua, where I once followed my own gods, the Tuatha de Danann. Why did you abandon your gods? Senua, I was a man of knowledge, not a warrior. To survive, I did things. Bad things. Like you, Senua. The man I once was has died. And when that happens, even gods you worship can die with you.
Northmen say that what we see as a rainbow is the bridge that goes from the world of men to the world of the gods. For now, they say the frost giants and the mountain giants cannot cross it. But they say that when Ragnarok comes, not a thing in this world will be safe. The rainbow bridge will break under the onslaught of the fire giants riding on flaming steeds. Senua, I have seen the fire of Surt spread far and wide, and to our lands. Ragnarok is coming. made it without you.
Keep running. Go on. Nothing will stop you. Run, Sarah. Run, run, run. Just run, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. This darkness takes everything. Everyone. Senua. Are you sure you want to do this? We can fight this together. Side by side. We always do. This is my battle. I have to face it alone. Away from here. Where will you go? I don't know. For how long? I don't know. I believe in you. You know that. Just promise me that you will come back to me. I want you to say it. I want you to say it. I will come back to you. I promise.
For every buck won, a greater battle takes its place. And so it goes. Until we fall. And in the end, we all fall. Even the gods have their time. Yet we still go on. Why? I made a promise. <laughs> and I will go to hell to keep it. I die free. Knowing you will carry my stories with you. <laughs> I have fulfilled my quest. Yes, you have. When the darkness comes, I vow to guide you in this life and the next to fulfill yours. Then I will see you in hell. Be ready to face horror in the eye as I have to find your answers your quest <laughs>